prestigious Open Overclocking Cup final was held in Moscow, Russia. 13 teams were selected after the qualification process on hwbot.org in the first half of the year. All the contestants used the same hardware, the Asus Maximus 6 Extreme, Intel Core i7-4770K CPU from Intel, graphic card from Asus, GTX 780 Direct CU2 OC. The memory, the storage and the power supply were provided by Corsair. By, uh, some of the memory were some special one with MFR. And the storage was the Corsair Neutron 128GB. The power supply was the AX1200i. The ranking system was based on three stages, with limited time frame. 2D benchmark first and then two stages with 3D benchmark. For the 2D stages, the overclockers can reach the maximum frequency in CPU-Z or they can use SuperPi 32Ms with a limitation to 5.5GHz. For each benchmark, the ranking gives you points, only the ranking with the most points count for each team in the end. This kind of point system for a live competition is a nice addition because you lower the dependency on the hardware and you give more chance to overclockers with nice skills for tweaking and performances, even if they were not lucky for, for the hardware draw when they and they got like a limited CPU. At the end of stage 1, all the teams except Team Recruiting 2 had scores to meet. Some of the teams were for the first time displaying their skills in the live competitions, like Team Greece 2 that burned their CPU in about 3 minutes after the beginning of the first stage. But no matter what, some teams managed to show off their skills like Team Friend, they, they end up with a pretty good place. Stage 2 was about 3D benchmark with 3D Mark 03 and 3D Mark 11 performance. Both benchmarks gave global ranking points, but only the highest point uh, is gathered per team, same as stage 1. 3D Mark Fire Strike Extreme was the only benchmark of stage 3, making it an important focus for the day. Stage 2 and Stage 3 run at the same period of time, so overclockers were able to run Windows XP and Windows 7. They can choose which one they want for which benchmark. So most of the team started the 3D benchmark by running 2D Mark 03 because they can use it on XP and XP was used for the 2D stage just before. This saved time avoiding switching between the two operating systems back and forth during stage 2 and 3. So most of the overclockers went to bench 3D Mark 03 on XP and then switched to Windows 7 to bench Firestrike Extreme and 3D Mark 11 performance. At the end of the day, five teams were really close. Team Greece 2, Ukraine 1, Europe, France and Germany. They were all, all very close in the term of global point. The last course update came up at the very very end of the stage, making it a very tight and intense competition. Team France and Team Europe ended up being at the exactly same amount of points with 80 points in total. So the judges, Tapaka and SF3D, along with Slams, the organizer, they select the 3D Mark Firestrike Extreme as being the decisive benchmark. This was an obvious reason because it was the single benchmark for this stage. At the end of the day, Perica Barry and Xtreme Addict won a thousand USD cash price and some hardware. Wizard T and Strategorsan flew back to France with 2000 USD cash and also the, uh, the hardware they used for the competitions. And finally, Tolsty and Cyclone from Ukraine went back home with 3000 USD in cash price and the hardware they had for the competitions. The Overclocking TV crew would like to congrats all the Overclockers for this nice and intense battle. We would also like to highlight a big congrats for Slams, Vlad, the organizer, for his, his impressive work on organizing this kind of competition for the second year in a row. So we hope to see you guys for the next season and don't forget, keep pushing it!